Rule number one, never pass up an opportunity at a scenic view. I was about to pass this up. This is not the geocache area. Here it is. We're in the 1% though. That goes from north to south in a single day. That's epic. Check this out guys. Look at this sick view. Yo YouTube, what's up? It's Triple B. How you guys doing? I'm out here at Brandywine Nature Park in Niles, Michigan. Looking for a bunch of caches that involve hiking. Let's see how many of these we can find. Here we go. We're off to the races here in Niles, Michigan. I'm excited. We've got plenty of caches to find. They're all on this trail. And uh, according to the map, it looks like they're all very close or like right off of the trail which that will be very nice. I'm hiking in, whoops, I'm hiking in shorts today and I only brought my water bottle. There's just a little bit of water in it. It's pretty hot out. I know one of these caches has a DNF on it, so I'm hoping I can bring you guys all the finds. We'll see if that works. The hint says sign. There's a small sign right here. Let's see if it's underneath the sign. It is, there it is. Got it. All right. We did it. Woo! We got the first cache of the video. Down the bike trail we go. That noise is so loud. It's all the way in the background. I don't even know what they're doing, but it's super loud. We're headed for a two difficulty, 1.5 terrain hide. This is an other, other size container. I apologize for the noise. There's not much I can do about it. This little nature trail right here is nestled in to this little town of Niles. And uh, Niles has actually got a lot of geocaches here. So I would encourage people that geocache to come to this area and check it out. They've got all kinds of caches. They got earth caches, virtuals, traditionals, where it goes. They got all kinds of stuff. I'll see you guys at ground zero to make the find. Here we go. Rule number one, never pass up an opportunity at a scenic view. I was about to pass this up. This is not the geocache area, but this is a very lovely scenic view. Let's go check it out. Ooh, we got some bridges over there. Got some flowing water. Nice. Let's check upstream. Gorgeous. Okay, back to the cache. We are two feet away. Hey, check this out. This is a sassafras tree. Awesome. The, the description wanted us to go in the woods by a large rock. There's no large rock. And then the hint told me something about a concrete slab. I'm not 100% sure what that means. I can tell you this, I am not finding it, but I am close to the cords. Cords actually put you like right on the edge of the woods. There's this huge tree over here. Let's go look over by this big tree. Whew, it's hot out. Okay, after probably like six to 10 minutes of aimless wandering, I think I found the right log with the broken concrete in the description, which is what this thing is right here. There's a fallen log right over here i'm trying to dodge these stones okay here's the concrete oh, I put it on me. all right here's the concrete here there's this what's this ah the old fake rock maneuver classic classic maneuver okay we found it let's go to the next guy Whew. that fake rock was tough my gps was all over the place on that hide it had me like 61 feet away where you first saw me searching and then it bounced me 61 feet back. That was tough. Okay, we're on to the next cache. It's a two difficulty, two and a half terrain and it's a regular size box. I don't know what that means. I'm hoping for an ammo can. I love ammo cans. There's just something about them. Classic containers, they've been around 
for a long time. Most early, not all, not all, but most early caches, 2000 on to like eh, 2007. Most of those early caches are actually ammo boxes in the woods. Not all of them. There's quite a few that are not, but there's also a lot that are ammo cans. Fun fact, there are 112 year 2000 hides. Just fun fact. Inside 100 feet to go. There it is. 80 feet. Looking for a regular size box. Like 50. There's a nice little opening right here on the left by this giant tree. Let's go explore right in here. Let's go check out this big tree. Here we go. Whoa. I see anything there. What about above me? Is he up here? Let's use the GoPro to reach up there and, and look. Anything up there? Don't see anything? I think I see something. I'm not sure if that green thing was the container or not. Let's check it out. Okay, I don't know what that green thing was that I saw up in that tree with the video, but I found the container. It's in this hollow stump. It's a metal tin. Not a cookie jar or a cookie tin, but it's a metal tin. All right, let's see what it says. It says, looks like it's an old paint tin container. Okay, let's see what's inside of it. Let's open this geocache up. Watch like a big can of worms or something jumps out of it. I've seen that before. All right, it's just got a bunch of stuff in there. Nothing really worthwhile other than the log sheet. You know, these hidden gems, these little nature parks like this place here, Brandy, was it Brandy Creek, Brandy Wine? I'm not sure which one it was, but um, this little like hidden gem, I love places like this. It's so, I mean, it's quiet now. It wasn't quiet earlier when we were near that industrial loud noise, but um, it's quiet now. I've only seen like maybe one other person on this bike trail. There's a couple of people at the entrance. I think they were doing some fishing. But, oh man, this is such a hidden gem. It's an amazing place. I think the really neat part that I like the most about this, not only is there a lot of caches for me to hike to, but I don't have to go a quarter mile off the trail to get them. <laughs> I don't have to go over some giant hill just to find them. I don't have to climb some giant knob in the middle of the woods <laughs> just to try and find the next cache okay this next one is a one and a half difficulty two terrain other another other size container the last other one was a uh, fake rock and I see the bench and this cache is actually gonna be somewhere near that bench let's see if it's a nano a key case or something totally different usually those are the kind of containers you would see on a bench, a nano, a key case. I've also seen magnetic cover plates. Got it. Ha ha! If you put all your money on nano, there's one your bed. This is a little black nano. All right, it's that time in the video where we're headed to the one cache that has a DNF on it. This singular cache could determine if we find every cache in this weekend adventure. We do have one that's back at the parking lot that we haven't tried. That's coming up after this one. I wanted to skip that one because there was a bunch of people getting ready to go fishing or whatever. There's muggles right there at the parking lot. So this cache here has a DNF on it. It's a Dun, dun, dun. One and a half difficulty, two terrain micro. The DNF is from September 7th, 2024. And that particular person has one find. They only have one cache. The person before them, 823, 2024, they found it. So I've got a feeling that this one could be there. They just didn't know what they were looking for. Let's see if I'm right, or if they actually did DNF it, and it's missing. 
It has to be on this metal pole. That's my guess. I think I see it. Is this it here? This is it right here. Wow. That's pretty crazy. I'm not 100% certain how that person missed that high. It's not even a nano. I mean, it's got some size to it. It's just a plastic tube underneath the, the sign there. All right. We're back at the Brandywine Creek Nature Park sign. And I didn't know that, that the geocache was actually right behind where I started the video from. <laughs> oh, that's just kind of ironic. All right, well, this is the last find of the video. We did it, we got everyone in the park. Let's wrap it up, here we go. Thanks for watching. All right, this awesome scenic view right behind me is right where we're gonna wrap up this weekend adventure out here in Niles, Michigan. If you're not a geocaching with Triple P subscriber, I really hope you'll consider subscribing to get help me reach my sub goal of 340 subs. I'll see you guys out on the trail. Have a good one.